Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of Soldiers Talk the Podcast. I'm your host, Staff Sergeant McPherson, and on this show, we discuss military topics with current and prior service members. Okay, you guys, so in this episode, we're going to be talking about, first of all, yeah, in this episode, we're going to be talking about going to the field. So make sure you guys stay tuned to this video. Okay, you guys, so welcome back. So this is Podtober day six. Uh, and like I was saying, this episode, we're going to be talking about going to the field in the, in the U.S. Army. So uh, first of all, make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, and if you got any suggestions for future episodes, you guys can contact me at this email down below if you got suggestions for any future episodes okay so like i was saying this video is about going to the field so i'm pretty sure a lot of soldiers familiar with this uh going to the field we go to the field depending on what time what type of unit are you in how often you go right uh so i'm gonna give you guys just a perspective of going to the field from my perspective and my mos as a 92 Yankee and what usually I have to deal with before we go to the field or anything like that. So uh, going to the field, right? Most of the time you got to wake up super early uh, to get to the motor pool or whatever place that you guys have stayed your vehicles at. So depending on what type of exercise it is, uh, usually it's a convoy to that area where y'all gonna be doing the exercise at. So like I was saying, you get up, you go to the, wherever you guys stage your vehicles at that the day prior, uh, and you just do like a final check on make sure who's gonna be in what vehicle, uh, things like that. And you'll do, it'll be a convoy over to the area where you'll be, where you'll be uh, doing your exercise at. So uh, it's gonna be a convoy brief before you leave. And then they just gonna explain the route on uh, what route you guys are gonna take, the miles per hour, uh, how fast you can drive, how fast you can catch up, how fast you need to drive for you to catch up to the convoy, just stuff like that. You know, they do a comms check before you leave and things like that. So, uh, usually field exercises on is how officers are rated. You know what I mean? Like NCOs, we have, we get rated by our performance on various things, but usually when it comes to field exercises and things like that, these are how, these how, these how our officers graded, officers get graded like this, you know? Uh, so depending on how that field exercise go, your company commander, all that stuff going to go on there or you are. So, uh, we're going to start talking about like the setup. So of course, when you get to a field exercise, you're going to have to set things up. You're going to have to set the tents up, uh, the ECP, all these types of stuff have to get set up uh, in a timely manner. So usually depending on what type of tents you guys have, uh, you can go up pretty quick. You know what I mean? Especially if you got experience, people who knows how to put the tents up and stuff like that. And, what area S3 usually let us know what area the tents gonna go and stuff like that, where they want the ECP at and all type of stuff like that. Uh, so usually as a 92 Yankee, I have to make sure I have, uh, I gotta make sure I have pickets and I gotta make sure I have C wire. So this is the main thing that they use to, to uh, for the ECP and going around the actual uh, area that we're gonna be, that uh, that we're doing the field exercise at. So, uh, just depends on how much 
uh, they actually need. Uses like three strands of sea wire that's gonna go around the whole uh, uh, area to where we having it at. So uh, yeah, so we get all that set up and stuff like that, and it's usually just like normal operations. You know what I mean? Uh, depending on what y'all doing and what type of uh, what type of what's the mission and what we actually doing while we out there. Uh, use this normal operations. This same thing you'd be doing in the office is the same thing you'd be doing out in the field. But of course, it's just a field environment. Uh, sometimes you might be staying out there overnight, but then again, sometimes you might uh, uh, have one of them field exercises where you can actually go home every day. So, uh, yeah. So, the meals while you're out there. So, Nine times out of 10, what you're going to be eating out there, if you stand out there overnight, is going to be MREs. Uh, most, like sometimes it just depends on how it goes. Because I was this recently, this recent field I went to, uh, we had hot days every, I want to say we had hot days every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's what I want. That's, that's what I think we did. But it just depends on, uh, how y'all set it up and how y'all actually want to do it, how your commander or first are actually set it up and how they want it to be done. So we talked about the convoy. Uh, usually that's how officers are rated. Uh, the meals, it's going to be normal operations while you out there, normal things that you do. Uh, so it's important to do, sometimes it's important to do hip pocket trainings while you out there. So depending on what you're doing, uh, you might have classes on setting up an ECP, having classes on, you. I'm gonna tell you right now, as a soldier and as an NCO, you wanna make sure you're paying attention to how these tents are getting set up. Uh, because that's, it's big to, it's, you it's big to know that you know what i mean because like sometimes officers and soldiers they look to ncos to to know these type of things you know what i mean uh so just make sure you're paying attention to how these tents are getting set up because you're going to go to the field again and you're going to have to somebody going to be looking for somebody to understand how to do this so just make sure you're paying attention while y'all out there uh setting up tents or stuff like that. And as an honesty Yankee perspective, of course, going doing a field exercise, we make sure there's porta potties is somewhere around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, that's important for a field exercise too, to make sure the porta potties are out there and the field sanitation, uh, the hand washing stations and stuff like that. So, talked about the ecp uh and that's pretty much it for a fear side and just the length of how long you guys are gonna be out there for that time uh i don't know i usually i haven't uh i probably stay i probably i can't remember off the top of my head but usually fear size only take about a week uh i stayed on the fob before though for like a month when I was in the reserves, uh, we went on, like we stayed on this fob for like a month and it was basically intense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so that's uh, basically all I wanna get uh, today for you guys, uh, just going to the field. Uh, of course, you wanna make sure uh, you bring your personal hygiene stuff. Like I said, this if you stand out there in the field, uh, you wanna make sure you have all type of personal hygiene, uh, supplies uh yeah so um it's a lot more stuff that i probably uh need to cover as far as like the packing list and what you guys should have but your first art should be pushing out a packing list should have been pushed out a packing list way before the exercise so you it shouldn't be a, a last minute thing for you guys it should be pushing that stuff out so you know exactly what you need while you out there in the field um uh, yeah, the packing list is another thing. So, uh, depends on what's gonna be on the packing list, nor if you're gonna be staying out there or not. So, uh, 
Uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys for today, man. Going to the field. Uh, if I miss anything, let me uh, let me know in the comments. You know, uh, if you want guys want to add anything to it, uh, just let me know. Uh, I'm pretty sure I covered everything, though. So this has been another episode of Soldiers Talk, the podcast. And I'll see you guys in formation.